Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here to do some more missing people cases. If you wanna know what article I'm reading this from? It is called ourblackgirls.com. Okay, I'm gonna see what their body is. I'm gonna ask them, I'm gonna see what their body is. Um, if do they know they still alive or not, okay? So let's begin. This is gonna be another Jane Doe case, okay? So this is about Lake. This could be about a male, okay, or a woman. She didn't say Jane Doe. They only call me Jane Doe. This is Jane Doe. Lake Ray Hubbard, Jane Doe, 1998, shot multiple times. When you see shot, that don't really mean shot, okay? It mean, you know, you know how people be like, I'm throwing shots at you. Am I throwing shots at you? Okay, this this is what this is, okay? So, let's see. Today's story focuses on one of the many mysterious cases that involved an under, unidentified person. Since 1998, the full name of Lake Ray Hubbard, Jane Doe, and named for the purposes of this article, has gone unknown. Even as I attempted to pull public records and information about this case, it was clear that not much had been shared and due to the length of time, it doesn't seem as this is a priority for investigators or media outlets. Yes, this must be very serious. What could be found about Lake Ray Hubbard Jane Doe is that her badly decomposed, that her badly decom decomposed remains were discovered on April the second, nineteen ninety-eight, in Lake Ray Hubbard near Levon, Texas, a small town of probably of four thousand and five hundred people, just thirty miles east of Dallas. According to Doe Network, her remains were located in a waterway about a half mile south of the 4400 Black a State Highway 78 and almost five miles east of Wiley and between Lake Levon and Lake Ray Hubbard. It is suspected, it is suspected she was deposed of the Lake Levon before her remains traveled through floodgates and were found in Lake Ray Hubbard. That area is closed, okay? Can I go in that lake? But this is how she would have looked. She probably like a she like an older woman, like in her thirties or fifties or something like that. See she did not have she didn't have no face y'all. Okay. This is like drawing. Do we have that in the government? People when people would draw what they think the person would look like, okay? Following the examination, so, oh yeah, when they do the Jane Doe, that means they eyeballs gone. Every, the inside of their nostrils gone, y'all. They teeth gone, they dentures, they gun. Like, it's, y'all, it's really fucked up, okay? Following the examination of the remains, it was determined that the unidentified woman was approximately 30 to 50 years old and had been dead for anywhere between one to four weeks. I'm seeing flies on her. She had no face, so inside her, you know. Her cause of death was listed as a homicide as she was reportedly shot multiple times. So that means they knew her family or something, or they knew her people or something. The location, or is she African American? They throwing shots at, at, at the African American race. This location of those injuries is unclear. At the time of her disappearance, Lake Ray Hubbard, Jane Doe, stood 5 feet 7 inches tall and rated 170 pounds. She has black, dark brown hair, about 2 inches long, and brown eyes. They hate anybody with brown eyes, okay? Any distinguishing marks or scars on her body are unknown, see? So she probably didn't have no skin on her either. She was found the bones could be tall, okay? They could tear the bones up. They can't beat the bones up badly that we cannot identify the bones. Any distinguishing marks or scars on her body are unknown. She was found wearing black lingerie, described as a teddy in size SSL. I'm hearing her saying she was asleep, okay? She was not a prostitute. She was actually sleeping in her bed, okay? A teddy is just a is lingerie. Hanes underwear, dark blue Adidas. Now, the Hanes underwear was actually the killer's underwear, okay? Dark blue Adidas jogging pants with white stripes, gray socks, and black Adidas athletic shoes, size 7.5. It was noted that her clothing looked to be fairly new. See, they bought that stuff for her. Or they, yeah, they could have bought her that teddy as well. Lake Ray Hubbard Jane Doe was also wearing several pieces of jewelry. Two, two hoops earrings in her right ear, one hoop earring in her left ear, and a guest brand watch with a white metal band. See? Shots unclear on which wrist. Anyways, I mean my bad. 
anyone with any information about this case is urged to contact the Collin County Sheriff's Office at 512-424-5074, the Collin County Medical Examining Officer at Medical Exam at Collin County Texas.gov, or their local authorities. The agency case number is U, capital U, 980-4002. Please share this story by Lake Ray Hubbard Jane Doe to help reunite the investigations into her case. She is our sister and her life matters. Okay. Hope y'all enjoy this. If y'all want to help with this case, y'all can. Y'all know any answers you can help. Okay. Psychies and all. Okay. You don't have your psychic. But anyway, this is what I love to do and I'm not asking for no money. Okay. I'm out. Peace.